Well, hello and welcome back to another Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz. We are going through the book of 2 Timothy. Uh, you know, I just celebrated my 70th birthday on Sunday, and I want to make something really clear. When you hear this, that's the chair. That's not me, okay? Anyway, it's a little, it's a little squeaky. Okay, let's continue now in 2 Timothy. We're in chapter 2, verse 4. Paul is writing to Timothy, and he says, No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. That's 2 Timothy 2, verse 4. So Paul continues to use this soldier analogy for Timothy, who was called and gifted by Jesus to pass along the teachings of Jesus and his apostles to the next generation. So this section of scripture is primarily for those who serve in the office of the word. And the warning simply stated is this, don't take on the role of pastor with too many irons in the fire. Now this doesn't mean that one can't be bivocational. I mean we all know Paul worked as a tent maker to help make ends meet as he brought the gospel to the Gentiles. But even as he did this, his primary concern was always the message and sheep entrusted to his care. It was this dedication to the integrity of the message and his desire to see souls won to Christ that pleased the one who chose him to be a soldier, namely Jesus Christ. Paul was in this for one reason, to please Jesus. And he wanted Timothy and all others who would follow in his footsteps to be likewise motivated. He said in Galatians 1, beginning at verse 10, For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I still pleased men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. And even more to the point, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 4 through 6, he says, But as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, even so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God who tests our hearts. For neither at any time did we use flattering words, as you know, nor a cloak for covetousness, God is witness, nor did we seek glory from men, either from you or from others when we might have made demands as apostles of Christ. You know, the devil works overtime in the business of distraction. Think about Eve in the garden. He directed her attention to the glitz of the fruit and away from the word of God. Well, he will seek to do the same thing with pastors. Therefore, pastors and prospective pastors Remember this tactic of the evil one. And if you're going to get entangled with anything, may it be with the word of God and the Holy Spirit. Well, that's all the time we have for today. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.